I want to tell you what mercury poisoning does to a person. I have been through seizures. I have a diminished immune system. My life has been made a living hell. It's not mercury in your blood that makes you sick. I mean, it, it contributes, but it's mercury that gets inside your kidney cells and your brain cells and certain other cells that causes you to get sick. And so when you look at people who are sick like this, you can't just treat them with a drug for immune system illness. You can't just treat them with a drug for nervous system irritability. You have to look at the underlying roots of where these are coming from. Mercury is very often a common denominator. What pregnant woman would want mercury in her mouth? There's nothing that vaporizes mercury faster than taking out an old amalgam. Well, if it doesn't leak, how in the heck did it get all the way down to the tip of the root? When I had that particular seizure, my wife saw me going into the seizure, and she put her arms around me from behind and pulled both of us down onto a couch. And the seizure was so intense that the muscle popped the end of this bone off. The hardest part for me is, is feeling basically that nobody cares. So if you put mercury amalgams in the mouth, you're just causing massive amounts of damage in the body. And the government, the FDA, the Dental Association, they're supposed to be there to protect us. They certainly have been flooded in previous hearings and previous communications with lots of science. There's more evidence than you can shake a stick at to show that this stuff is harmful. They don't cite the science that has been provided to them. The person who, who would make a decision to get rid of mercury amalgams from the marketplace would be the FDA commissioner. The FDA commissioner has exclusive power to make that decision. I mean, this was a commissioner who was uh, uh, sending emails back and forth to her former uh, company uh, all through the period of the amalgam rule. Commissioner Homburg was on the board of Henry Schein, Inc., which is the largest seller of amalgam in the world. I mean, our, our government health agencies have just shoved science out the back door in favor of politics. We're not becoming older. We're becoming poisoned. Say the M word, it's mercury.